Writing is crystallized thinking. There are many writers who subjectively report that the best time they can find for writing is early in the morning, and also that reflection comes with the night. And sometimes inspiration might strike. You might feel in the zone, you might want to take your phone out or jump into your computer chair and start writing right away. You have that momentum going and everything else works seamlessly. But momentum is not necessarily about the volume of work, but more about the pace and the rhythm of the work. You can spend your day jumping from email to email, micro task to micro task, and end the day feeling less productive, going into the next day without momentum. And momentum is built by doing something small every single day, something small that excites you and keeps you going, riding the wave of your interests and hobbies. And the first tactic I use to build momentum is writing straight up on a blank piece of paper each morning. And the industry calls this morning pages, essentially three pages of longhand stream of consciousness writing done first thing in the morning. And they say that there's no right way or wrong way to do it, which is why I don't buy myself this three pages structure. For myself, there's no number attached to it. I can even write one sentence and I'm okay with it. But what I'll do is face the blank sheet and start writing random things all over the place. And oftentimes one will find a few gems. Thoughts that you repressed, maybe influences, dubious ideas, beliefs, impressions. And while these might not hold much weight, I would want to face them on a sheet of paper and see and check if indeed they matter or not. And again, writing is crystallized thinking. Downloading information straight from your brain onto this piece of technology we call paper is a process that involves the whole body. As your mind is the engine creating all of it and your hands are the transmission cords that can make sure you can physically see your thoughts. And I view it as a filtering system. I'm imagining that my brain even though was asleep was up all night doing his own thing without me actively knowing what's happening. And this can come in as dreams, micro thoughts and you know, body variations. I find that being incapacitated for 8 plus hours uh, will eventually require some debriefing sessions with myself as I kind of need to take care and understand what happened, also process it all along. And this is why taking out my nightly unconscious thoughts in the morning on a piece of paper can be a helpful exercise. And again, those can be leftover thoughts I had during the day or maybe during the week and even going further, you know, throughout the last couple of months and even years. Now, another thing I'm doing to build that writing momentum going is to just progress on something that's meaningful to me on a macro level. Uh, every single day. And I'm doing this by taking care of the micro, either that being writing for my website, constructing my educational assets, gathering and organizing the resources I consumed, writing for my weekly newsletter, hashtag shameless plug, continuing where I left yesterday or simply hiding up unfinished work. And reducing friction is oftentimes the thing we neglect. Taking care of your environmental design is also a cool experiment you can try out that can encourage your ability to produce and designing your control center, your, your cockpit in such a way that is going to be easy for you to start writing can be the first important step. Seeing your morning pages journal on your desk and not hiding it in the back of a drawer. Making sure you have a centralized workspace to perform your writing that's similar in flavor and can be accessed anywhere, such as Notion, Rome, Evernote, or the plain old journal can be a great support structure for creative endeavors. And the question I often ask myself is how can I find my peak productivity time, my peak performance time? When and where am I usually in the zone of momentum? And how can I create more of that during my week? And again, I found that this works best for me in the morning. And obviously you can reorganize this and apply it to your own physical and mental workflow. And when the monkey mind comes in late at night, you will know that you actually took a ride on the momentum train and you will still be able to do it tomorrow. Now, leaving something unfinished is another thing I will do on purpose so that I can have something to look forward to tomorrow. And this is an easy way to regain that momentum next day. The next day you can read the stuff you wrote out the previous day, possibly adjusting it, touching the pen or the keyboard, involving yourself in the project once again. And combining this with reflection time that's usually happening during the evening hours can be indeed a killer combo. I can either spend the evening reflecting on what I've done that day or simply shutting my brain off and let it do the work unconsciously. Now during the reflection time you can use your morning pages and either perform a full brain dump 
as you did in the morning or come up with a more structured way to look at your day. This is actually your choice. But what I would sometimes do is create a nightly note card where I would plainly outline the things I want to do tomorrow in a three bullet format and also write up a few sentences about my day. And sometimes I might prioritize creating a structure in this extended version of the morning pages, but most of the times it's just like pretty random. It's again brain vomiting on a piece of paper at night, the same thing I did in the morning, but sort of also trying to outline a few next steps for tomorrow in this three bullet format. And I found that the three bullet format works best for me. You can do two bullets, five bullets, 10 bullets, however you want really. But again, this can come in as a support structure for your next day. And doing this for the first time is actually going to be overwhelming at first, but you are also going to write quite a lot, as you would probably have plenty of unprocessed stuff running in your mental engine, and you will start writing and continuing to take it out. Now, finding momentum and beats you can follow during the day, like a melody invading your mental space, and really interacting with that melody, slightly adjusting your rhythm along the way while not falling off of it, the micro actions you perform combined with reflection time, taking all of that and applying it to any of your projects, either being writing, coding, drawing, researching, or any other thing you might be interested in, can be a great kit of tools that will keep you moving forward.